have a secret to tell you. <laughs> it's not really a secret. Right, it's episode 885, it's Friday, and it's Thoughtful Fridays. I like to give you something on a Friday that we're going to take into the weekend and just ponder over, think about. Okay, so here's a secret. You will never believe it. You will never, ever believe it. But here it is. It's true. I am awkward in certain situations. No, I know what you're thinking. A confident, charismatic, wonderful man like myself gets awkward. Yes, I get awkward. And I, I know that's a joke, by the way. Obviously, I'm, I am all on things, but I still, <laughs> charismatic especially, I, I still get awkward. My friends will tell you that. And by the way, this comes from Bear Girls as well. So my friends will tell you that I get awkward in certain situations. I was just thinking about, um, I was with my sister, um, my sister Samantha, and we was at the local news agent and the kids was there. And we're, oh, it was on one Friday, we was coming from school. And so after Fridays, coming home from school, we always get the kids a little, a little treat or something. So we was coming home from school. This was, this was probably like two years ago, three years ago, and it still haunts me now. And there was a new girl working there. And she, she recognized, she, I, I mis, there was a case of mistaken identity. I thought it was one of my mate's mums. And I, but I didn't know why I'd do this, even though if I'm mate's mum. Anyway, she goes, hi, Sam, you all right? And I was like, how the hell does she know Samantha? Anyway, so I walk past and she goes, I goes, hi, you all right? And she goes, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Clearly not knowing who I was. And so what did I do? <laughs> because I was awkward and I was going red. I actually reached out and hooked, that, hooked this woman. And Samantha is burst out laughing. And I'm like, just going bright red and didn't want to let go of her because I've gone that red. And she I didn't want her hair to see how red I've gone. So not only did I hug her, I held her. I held her in my arms for, I don't know, maybe... Uh, five more seconds than I should have done. <laughs> she, I can only imagine what she must be thinking. Who is this guy who just come in and hug me? Bear hug me. I'm a, l- a lot bigger than that. I just hugged her. And I was like, oh no, what do I do here? And that's just, that just typically sums me up. I'm terrible in them situations. I get so awkward. Anyway, and I was listening to Bear Girls, and I actually think that I get awkward because I care so much. And I'm, I feel like I'm very much aware of things around me as well, of my surroundings. So I'm, I'm awkward because I care. And I'm also aware of somebody, if somebody else feels awkward, I, I try to fill it. I try to fill the awkwardness with me being awkward so they don't have to feel awkward. And when I was listening to Bear Grylls, Bear Grylls said exactly the same. He gets real awkward when people see him. People think he's Bear Grylls from television, um, but he gets awkward around people. And I can... I can relate sometimes because I've got a self-storage podcast. And when I go to events in self-storage, everybody expects me to be this. And I am like that a lot, but I'm also introverted as well. And so speaking on, on a podcast or doing a presentation doesn't really scare me, but speaking one-on-one with someone, I don't really know that they know me and I don't know them. And I forgot the name and I've met them once before and it's a bit awkward, but that scares the living shit out of me. And so when I go to the conferences, um, them them situations where they know me a little bit because of a podcast and I don't really know them at all. It just makes me feel uncomfortable, really, really uncomfortable. And Bear Grylls says exactly the same, but he did say something that we've got to lean into them awkward moments. Awkward, here's what he said. Awkward moments can be the greatest moments. It's when you are showing up and showing people how we feel and how vulnerable we are. I think that's wonderful. It's, it's us being honest. And why am I embarrassed about it? Why am I embarrassed? It's me showing up. It's me being vulnerable. It's me being honest. And that's what it's all about, honesty. And so much of us, so many of us put a mask on every single day. Mask on to the world. As soon as we go out of that door, we've got a mask on. And we're, we're all showing up in some way, shape or form and putting that face on and pretending we're somebody we're not. And the awkward moments are when I'm being really, really me. I'm being super vulnerable and I'm showing my true self. And so sometimes I've, I've got to learn to lean into them awkward situations because that's me being vulnerable. And when you're vulnerable, when you're opening up, that's when you entice more people in your life. That's when people can relate to you. So even if they're not being vulnerable and, and awkward, it doesn't mean they can't see your vulnerability. And that's when you open yourself up to others and people love and like you more because you are being open, you are being honest and you are being vulnerable. And that's how we create bonds and relationships, my friends. So thoughtful Friday. I made obviously a titter about myself today, but do you know what? I'm going to lean into that moment. All right. Enjoy the weekend guys, girls. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you soon.